Well, it's the middle of a fairly cold Melbourne winter, but it's a beautiful sunny day today and the perfect chance to pull out the tea van and to get it prepared because we've had enough and we're going to hit the road on a tea vanning adventure. We are going to take off in a week or so and head up towards Echuca. Uh, there's a light show happening at Echuca around the wharf. Susan is a sucker for a light show, so we're going to check that out. Then we're going to head north up towards Queensland along the Long Paddock route, which we'll tell you more about on our journey. Uh, head up to the Colgoa National Park up in Queensland, across to Charlotte Plains. Charlotte Plains, we've been there before. Uh, pretty nice spot, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, the hot pools there. We're going to then go across to Lightning Ridge and on the way up, we're also going to have a look at White Cliffs. Every time we've tried to look at White Cliffs, it's been too wet and we haven't been able to get down the road. Poor old Chili, she's not going to come. She's going to stay home with the house sitter and uh, she's not very happy about that. So, if you've got time, we'd love you to join us on our adventure. Have a look at what we're doing, where we're going, and maybe it'll inspire you to plan your own adventure. Really important before you do any road trip, just to do a little bit of checking, um, whether it is take your van or your car off to mechanics to get it checked over, or if you're able to, to do it yourself. Uh, I'm pretty much just gonna check my brakes. Check the wheel bearings, nothing worse than being that guy on the side of the road with wheel bearings that have uh, locked in place. Um, and I'll also just check the suspension to make sure that is all sound. Um, so it's good to know that everything is prepared and so much nicer to do it on a nice driveway on a sunny day like today. This is Peter and Susan from This Retired Life and we are in Cold Binabin. I think I've got it right this time and I'd just like to say this would have to be one of the friendliest towns we've walked through in a really long time. We've just been for a bit of a wander down the main street and everyone who's passed us has said g'day and been super friendly so nice little part of the world. So we're going from here across to Rochester to have a look at some more silo art and we're hoping to finish just a bit north of Echuca tonight and then we'll push off tomorrow on our run up the long paddock. Setting up the camper tonight? No, I was a bit of a wuss on that one, I'm afraid. <laughs> so we're in a motel tonight until we get another six or seven hours north. Hopefully we get a little bit more uh, sunshine and slightly warmer for the following night when we're going to be on a uh, cattle station out near White Cliffs, uh, which is an open mining town. So we've got a whole lot of cool stuff planned for the next 10 days. We do. We're going to make a number of videos out of it all. And hopefully the sun will shine and the temperature will lift because it might have been a bit of a folly thinking that in the end of July it was a great idea to go camping, especially when you know how soft I am. <laughs> Alrighty, let's put all this back in the car and head to Rochester and have a little bit of a look around there. Alright, sounds like we're going to have some fun now. Join us. Rochester now which is only about 30 minutes up the road from our previous stop we're having another look at some street art here there's terrific silos around the other side of the railway line there we're in Idle's Lane now which has a mural to celebrate a famous detective who was a local at the town and had one of the highest conviction rates of any detectives in the Victorian police force at the time So 
here we are in Moama. We went to go to a Thai restaurant, but it's not open. And we're about to go to the Moama Lights. Um, and we haven't got a lot of time, so we can't hang around to wait for the restaurants to open and do the lights and get to our hotel stop. So here we are doing some quick Chinese takeaway in the front seat of the Mighty Tridy. New South Wales. We've uh, had a longish day, um, but we saw some good things. We went to, was it the condo? The co, 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 we'll, we'll remember yeah, later on. We'll come back to that one. And then we went to Rochester. Rochester was pretty good, some more good silo art. We enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, and then on to Achuka Moama to see the Moama lights. And that was really good. The Moama lights were great. We went and saw the lights at Uluru a few years ago and they weren't as good as the ones we just saw. They weren't, as, they weren't as good as the Moama lights. It was really, really good. Really well. Yeah, we were pretty impressed. There were uh, plenty of people there. It was the last night. Um, how long has it been going? Oh, four weeks, I think. Okay. So we were on the last night and it was, it was great. It was apparently all set up to provide like a visual image of one of Banjo Patterson's poems. So I thought they'd done done a really great job and it was really pretty and I, I like lights. Every time I book something like this, I think Peter's going to go, oh, here we go again. She's watching the lights extravagant. So. We can't go anywhere without sparkly lights. Good. Then you'll enjoy seeing it because there were some lovely projections. They had children's artwork that was projected along the walkway, which was really nicely done. There was sections with butterflies, and, and the ones that look like little mushrooms, and I think I probably like that bit the best. Which did you, what did, did you? I like the disco mirror balls, and I like <laughs> well, the one. Cool and I like the when they were sort of putting puffing the smoke through it, and you were getting the the, the rays of light. So. And we are now at the whatever it is, Red Gum Motoring. Well, and it's a really nice motel. We've actually stayed here before. The people are so friendly. We are going to. Yeah, keep heading north. We won't go into the details of it now because maybe we can do that. Be tomorrow's excitement on the road. Find out where we are going tomorrow. tomorrow. What is the next stop? Alrighty, but first, the first stop will be to find a decent cup of coffee. <laughs> 